I was born in Los Angeles in 1928, and I used to come downtown in the streetcar with my mother and grandmother during the 1930s. Angel's flight was quite a deal to me, so the last day before it was packed up in May of 1969, I brought my sons to ride on it. The rides were free that day, and a lot of other people had the same idea. The line to ride stretched down Hill Street all the way to the Grand Central Market. In 1969, Angel's flight was being disassembled and stored so that Bunker Hill could be graded and redeveloped with the Omni Hotel, high-rise apartments, and the Museum of Contemporary Art. When I was a kid, people would get on board and everyone would try to get a seat in the front of the car. The best part of the ride was when the two cars swerved around each other as they passed, and the front seats gave you the best view of that. In those days, you could go everywhere by streetcar in Los Angeles. We came down from Highland Park on the W car. You could get to the top of Bunker Hill by walking up over 120 steps. It cost a nickel to ride Angel's flight. You could buy a Coke for a nickel and a lettuce and tomato sandwich for 10 cents. We ate at the lunch counters in the dime stores on Broadway, which was a block east of Angel's Flight. Broadway had everything. Department stores like Bullock's, May Company, Robinson's, the Fifth Street store. There were also theaters everywhere, including the Orpheum and the Million Dollar. In Clifton's cafeteria, they had a sherbet mine. A conveyor belt would deliver a dish of sherbet from somewhere below through an opening in a shelf. But there was nothing like Angel's flight with two cars coming together and swerving around each other. <laughs>